like how he got himself dead in the first place. No. No. Please don't, Thomas. Except everyone knows. So why don't we cut all the crap? Maybe we should take a break for a moment. Yeah. Great boss. Great dad. But he was killed because he was a bully. He was a rapist. Thomas! Basically, he got what was coming to him. You're missing all the laughs. I hardly think that's appropriate. You need to go back. An expert, are you? In these kind of situations. Bible class, answering phones, ashamed of your dead dad scenarios. Don't be rude. No, I'm not an expert. But I do know that doing the right thing, even when it's hard, is easier than living with regret. Thomas, you know I'm right. I'll tell you what. Why don't you do Uncle Jimmy a favour and share your material with him? He's struggling for a nice thing to say about Dad. Anyway, we've just had the talk. Tomorrow morning there's a big push and we're all going over at top together. Me, Billy and Arthur. We'll be all right. Yeah, of course we'll be all right. We're Barnsley pals, us. Bent double, like old beggars under sacks. Knock kneed, coughing like hags, we cursed through sludge. Till on the haunting flares we turned our backs, and towards our distant rest began to trudge. Men marched to sleep, many had lost their boots, but limped on, bloodshod. All went lame, all blind, drunk with fatigue, deaf even to the hoots of tired, outstripped five nines that fell behind. Gas! Gas! Quick, boys! See, the men are supposed to get free meals every day, whatever's going on. Rain, ice, shells, snow, shrapnel, it don't matter. We're still supposed to feed them, and that ain't easy. Take this stuff. Brown stew, we call it. It's been cooking for three hours. It's got meat, onions, carrots, turnips, flour, and gravy. <sighs> Smells great. It tastes even better. 